Hello friends and welcome to the lecture series of Power Electronics in the Electrical is Easy channel. So today we are going to discuss a very small topic which is called softness factor. This should have been discussed actually when we were discussing the reverse recovery characteristics of the diode but nevertheless it is better late than never. So let us discuss today something which is called a softness factor. Now when we have discussed the reverse recovery characteristics we have already seen these definitions of the time Ta, Tb. Now Ta was due to the charge which is stored in the depletion region and this effect of Tb is due to the charge stored in the bulk of the semiconductor. We have seen that. And you know that TRR which is the total reverse recovery time is the sum of Ta and Tb. Now if you look at this particular recovery here that is after this time period Ta, the recovery is a very smooth recovery or it is also called as this type of recovery is also called as a soft recovery. Now in some cases what might happen is that this recovery can be extremely fast. Okay, So it, the characteristic might look like this. Let's take till here let it be the same. But here what happens is that the recovery is very fast like this. Okay, So you can see compared to this particular this blue color recovery the black color recovery is a little bit faster. right? Sometimes so when this has a small overshoot like this you can see that there is a small overshoot also here. Now this type of recovery is also called as an abrupt recovery. It is also called as an abrupt recovery. Now in order to quantify these aspects of the recovery, there is a term which is used which is called the softness factor. Now basically softness factor is actually a ratio. It is actually defined that is the softness factor S is equal to Tb divided by Ta. Okay. Now in case number one, now in case number one, where Tb is almost equal to Ta and Tb is almost equal to Ta, you can clearly see from the definition of the softness factor, the softness factor will be approximately equal to one. Now when the softness factor is roughly equal to one, such type of recovery is called as a soft recovery. So in the definition, the explanations of reverse recovery that we have seen till now, usually we are keeping this TA and TB almost the same value. So in those cases it was a soft recovery. You can see that the recovery is very gradual and smooth here. Now there is another case that is case 2 where TB is less than TA. Okay, TB is less than TA. Now if TB is less than TA, you can clearly see the value of S will be less than 1. Right, when TB is less than TA, naturally the value of S will be less than 1. Right. So such type of recovery, that means see here also Tb is less than A, right? See this is Tb, it is less than A, that it has a faster recovery. So such type of recovery is called a snappy recovery. Such type of recovery is called a snappy recovery because it happens quite fast, okay? So that is another thing that you have to know. The next thing is that you want to find an expression of QRR. Now QRR was the reverse recovery charge. Right, reverse recovery charge. So you want to find an expression of QRR which has this particular term of the softness factor. So you already know QRR, we have already in the process of deriving the expression of QRR, we had come out, we have seen an expression like this, right? Half into di dt multiplied by Ta multiplied by TRR. We already seen this expression. So somewhere here we want to introduce the value of S. It's a very simple uh, derivation actually. So you know that this S value, S value is equal to Tb divided by Ta. Right? Simple. So that means Tb will be equal to S into Ta. Very simple. Now you know that the total reverse recovery time TRR is equal to Ta plus Tb. We already seen that definition. So replacing Tb by S into Ta, you can get an expression like this. This is equal to Ta plus S into Tb. Right? So TRR from this expression, you will get it as 1 plus S into, so this will be Ta. Right? This is Ta here. So 1 plus S into Ta. Okay? TRR is equal to 1 plus S into Ta. So that value you can substitute here. That is from this expression you can find 
TA will be equal to TRR divided by 1 plus S. Right? So, in this particular expression, we can replace this TA value. So, QRR will be equal to half into DI divided by DT. Right? Half into DI divided by DT. You are replacing TA by 1 plus TR, TRR divided by 1 plus S. So, you will get TRR square divided by 1 plus S or S plus 1. Now, this expression is a very important expression. Sometimes they are asked in the competitive exams also. You can get a simple numerical based on all these factors. That is why you should know the definition of the softness factor. Sometimes they might ask something about the soft recovery or the snappy recovery. Therefore, this expression becomes a little bit important. There is no need to memorize this expression. If you know a basic understanding of the expression, you can easily derive it uh, then and there itself. So, this was something which I wanted to cover. The next video onwards, we will be actually discussing about the constructional feature of power diodes. That's a very important lecture and a very interesting lecture also. So, till I see you in the next video, it's me Varun signing off and have a great day. Thank you. Now that the video is over, please stay with me for 30 more seconds. Now, the vision of this channel is to create a repository of good quality videos with crystal clear explanation regarding various topics related to electrical engineering. Now, if you want to help me spread the word, please share this video with anyone interested in these topics. The second thing is that for me, education is a two-way process. Therefore, if you have any doubts or suggestions regarding any of the videos or regarding the channel, please put them in the comments below. We can have a healthy discussion and that way we can build a strong community of electrical engineers. So that's it for today's video. So till I see you in the next time, it's me Varun signing off and have a great day. Thank you.